time, 800 metre run, 50 broomstick overhead squats, and 30 push ups. We do have a 32 minute time cap on this workout today, so expect it to take a little bit longer than you might think it will take. Um, we'll talk about some of the movements and then we'll touch on uh, how you want to attack this workout. So first of all, uh, 800 metre run. Pick an 800 metre run track, and then once you come in, you don't want to rest too long like Coach Jean is here. You want to pick up your broomstick and get stuck into your overhead squats. So make sure you do use a broomstick for this one today, guys. We'll talk about some upscaling in a moment. Make sure the broomstick stacked overhead. Come down, get good depth every single time. So looking for hips below knees. Pretty rough when you're wearing tight ruggers from 1982, but Jean's still doing a great job. Once you've done your 50 broomstick overhead squats, we'll go and look at, uh, you're going to do 50 push-ups. So we'll have a look at some good quality push-ups. Start at the top of your push-up plate, come down to just your chest touches the floor and then press back out again. Uh, there's 30 of them, so break them up as you need to. Scaling options for those, which we won't look at, but we'll just talk about, are elevated, so to a box or a bench. Um, also, another scaling option, a good scaling option would be just to break the reps up as you, sorry, break the reps up as you need to, but also reduce the volume of push-ups if overall uh, that's going to be too many. So if uh, 90 push-ups is too many for you, let's scale that back as well. Possibly just do 20 reps per round. So 800 metre run, way to attack that is to stick to a good steady pace. Try not to let your pace drop off too much and it turn into a relaxing jog. We want you guys to keep that heart rate up. With your broomstick overhead squats, if you can get through them, 50 reps in a row, that's great. If not, just set manageable chunks. So you might do 20, 20, then another 10. And then do your push-ups as you need to. Remember, don't go to failure on your push-ups. Stop before you fail. Shake those arms out and go again. Uh, we spoke about scaling options. We didn't speak about scaling options for your run. If you can't run, you can do 200 double unders. So the rope will pass under your feet twice each time. Uh, if you can't do double unders, you'll do singles and you'll do twice the reps, so 400 singles. Uh, Gurab, if you do this one, I know you go really fast on those, mate. And then 50 kickbacks. We'll just have a look at burpee kickbacks. So we take the push up out, hands go down, kick your feet back, good quality plank before you jump up into the air. And a little clap in the top, just like Gina's doing here. Awesome work, Gina. Have fun with this one, guys. today's workout. We've got some core work, just what you guys probably need about week four into ISO. Three sets, 10 alternating V-ups, 20 bicycle crunches, followed by a 30 second hollow hold. I'm going to give you guys one minute rest in between each set. So first of all, we're going to look at alternating V-ups. The idea here, guys, is to stay in your hollow position, try to keep your legs as straight as possible each time. Opposite hand to opposite foot. Awesome work, Gino. Next up, 20 bicycle crunches. There's a few different ways we can do those. We'll look at this way first. Just starting in your hollow position, bring your knees up towards your chest as you keep going faster. Bicycle crunches. Or you can lift your hips up off the floor. So shove your hands on your hips, lift your hips up off the floor. <laughs> do bicycle crunches, somewhat like that. Uh, and then a 30 second hollow hold. So hands above your head. Sorry, we probably can't see Gene's hands in the video, but they are above his head. About uh, pull up distance apart, keeping your feet off the floor, shoulders off the floor, trying to stay hollow for the whole 30 seconds. Thanks, Gina. If you can't stay hollow for the whole 30 seconds, let's try and, um, you'll try and accumulate that. So you might get 20 seconds, rest for a bit, and then another 10. Your scaling options for your hollow position will be still shoulders and feet off the floor, but you'll notice that uh, Jean's hands are beside his hips and palms facing up. Otherwise, you can also crunch your knees up towards your chest, working really hard to keep those shoulders off the ground. Thanks. Enjoy. Take a photo of your six-pack afterwards. <laughs> 